Hello, welcome to Unit Control Statement. This unit will enable you to understand how a switch statement works. Understand the keywords used in switch statement, switch, case, break, default. Use switch statements in simple C programs. The switch statement causes a particular group of statements to be chosen from several available groups. The selection is based upon the current value of an expression which is included within the switch statement. The general form of the switch statement is switch expression statement, where expression results in an integer value and may also be of type char since individual characters have equivalent integer values. The embedded statement is generally a compound statement that specifies alternate courses of action. Each alternative specified in previous statement is expressed as a group of one or more individual statements within the overall embedded statement. Therefore for each alternative, the first statement within the group must be preceded by one or more case labels. Case labels also known as case prefixes identify the different groups of statements, that is the different alternatives, and can distinguish them from one another. The case labels must be unique within a given switch statement. Switch statement syntax in general terms, each group of statements is written as case expression. Statement 1, Statement 2, Statement N, or when multiple case labels are required, case expression 1, case expression 2, case expression M, Statement 1, Statement 2, Statement N, where expression 1, expression 2, expression M represent constant integer valued expressions. Usually, each of these expressions will be written as either an integer constant or a character constant. Each individual statement following the case labels may be either simple or complex. When the switch statement is executed, the expression is evaluated and control is transferred directly to the group of statements whose case label value matches the value of the expression. If none of the case label values matches the value of the expression, then none of the groups within the switch statement will be selected. In this case control is transferred directly to the statement that follows the switch statement. Example 1. A simple switch statement is illustrated below. In this example, choice is assumed to be a chart type variable. Thus, red will be displayed if choice represents either R or capital R. White will be displayed if choice represents either W or capital W. And blue will be displayed if choice represents either B or capital B. Nothing will be displayed if any other character has been assigned to choice. Notice that each group of statements has two case labels to account for either upper or lower case. Also, note that each of the first two groups ends with the break statement. The break statement causes control to be transferred out of the switch statement, thus preventing more than one group of statements from being executed. One of the labeled groups of statements within the switch statement may be labeled default. This group will be selected if none of the case labels matches the value of the expression. This is a convenient way to generate error messages or error correction routines. The default group may appear anywhere within the switch statement. It need not necessarily be placed at the end. If none of the case labels matches the value of the expression and the default group is not present, as in the above example, then no action will be taken by the switch statement. Example 2, on switch statement. Here is a variation of the switch statement. The switch statement now contains a default group consisting of only one statement which generates an error message if none of the case labels matches the original expression. Each of the first three groups of statements now has only one case label. 
Multiple case labels are not necessary in this example, since the library function tuper causes all incoming characters to be converted to uppercase. Hence, choice will always be assigned an uppercase character. Flower chart for a switch statement. Good programming practice using a switch statement. Provide a default case in switch statements. Cases not explicitly tested in a switch are ignored. The default case helps prevent this by focusing the programmer on the need to process exceptional conditions. There are situations in which no default processing is needed. Although the case clauses and the default case clause in a switch statement can occur in any order, it is considered good programming practice to place the default clause last. In a switch statement, when the default clause is listed last, the break statement is not required. But some programmers include this break for clarity and symmetry with other cases.